Good morning, this is Jacob Allroad with Novak Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about how to add a QR code to your Infusionsoft email broadcasts. A QR code makes it very easy to encode customer-specific data into a format that can be scanned using a phone or a tablet. For example, you might create a QR code that has a customer's uh, email address in it so that they can print out that email, bring it to an event, and get it scanned to show that they've, they've already registered and to check them in. To get started, we need to know what URL the QR code is going to take the visitor to. For this example, we're just going to use a web form that we use for testing purposes. In real life, you would probably want this on your own server. You'd need to use the Infusionsoft API to be able to look up customers, add tags, check to make sure they ordered whatever event that they're showing up to. Uh, but for this example, we're going to use this web form. It's just a basic sign up web form for our newsletter. We're going to show you how to automatically populate the first name and the email address. So to get the URL, we just go to the publish page. We're just going to use the hosted version. And there's the URL. We're going to go ahead and copy that address. The next step is to create the QR code itself. We're going to be going over to Cricut. Cricut is a free QR code API that lets you do up to 5,000 per day. If you need more than that, there are a bunch of free packages you can download to your server that make it so you can do as many as you want. So our URL, if we look down here, we can see all we have to do is cricket.com slash API slash QR question mark D equals and then our URL. We also have the option of adding in the size if we want to make it bigger or smaller. So we can very quickly just copy and paste that and then we need that URL over here again and here we go this will get us to our web form if we want to be able to pass information in we can use merge fields from Infusionsoft for example we might want to say email equals contact email and first name equals contact first name. When you put that into your Infusionsoft email, these two fields will be filled in with the contacts email and first name, and the web form will automatically fill that in. If you were doing this on your own server and you were using the API, you'd want your script to pull out these variables and do whatever you need to do with them, look up the contact, add additional information, that sort of thing. So now we have the full URL to our web form with the merge fields. We're generating the QR code. We need to do something a little tricky to make sure that Infusionsoft doesn't mangle this URL. By default, the Infusionsoft image getter is going to, to break this. So we need to convert it to a URL encoded string. So we're going to copy this entire URL. We're going to go to ascii2hex.com. This is just a free tool that lets you convert between different text formats. Copy and paste your URL into the text box and click convert. And then down here at the bottom in the URL encoded box is a string that we need. All this does is it converts all the special characters into encoded versions so that it doesn't get confused when it goes over to the Infusionsoft image getter. The last step is to plug it into our email. I have a sandbox app loaded here. We're just going to go over to the email and broadcasts and we're going to start a new one. We'll just go ahead and just send it to ourselves. We just have an ugly default template, but we're going to go ahead and plug our QR code into that for this example. To do this, you'll need to use an HTML snippet. This lets us plug in just about any HTML we want, and we're going to be creating an image tag. The tricky part here is we need to use the Infusionsoft Gitter script. If you don't plug this in, it's going to do it on its own and it's going to mangle things up. So you have to do it on your own. This is specific to your app. So my app is az169.infusionsoft.com. You'll need to make sure you use az169.infusionsoft.com. Once we have that little bit of image getter URL, we can copy over our URL encoded URL. And if we save this, we now have the barcode. 
So to just go over this one more time, uh, in a little more detail, this is an image tag in HTML. That's a pretty basic tag. It should work in, in every email client. You set the source to this special URL that Infusionsoft throws in automatically. We're just going to throw it in beforehand to make sure it's done properly. And then you add in then you add in the URL encoded path to your QR code. If you don't URL encode it, this is going to show up as a broken image. The Infusionsoft image getter doesn't correctly handle this going in if it's not URL encoded. You can do some other things to this if you'd like. You can add an alt in case you're concerned about accessibility. It can be uh, sign up for our newsletter in this example. And that'll just make it so that if they're using a screen reader, they'll be able to see it. Of course, if they're using a screen reader, they can't see the QR code, so it's probably not going to be very useful to them. And that's it. You can easily send this. You can preview it. This barcode is going to change for each of your individual contacts because it's merging in that email address and that first name. Again, in real life, you'd probably want to hook this up with the API. You can use our free Novak Solutions SDK that connects to the Infusionsoft API or you can use the official Infusionsoft SDK. Um, either way, you can, you can get that information from the QR code, connect to your Infusionsoft app, pull out any information you need, add information in. Uh, it's a great addition to an event registration system. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm available at jacob at novaxsolutions.com, or you can visit our website, novaxsolutions.com. Thank you. Have a great day.